Tonight we continue our coverage of COVID-19 with an explanation on that phrase that you've heard so many times already, flatten the curve. Our focus investigative team has been working on the numbers to be able to show you what those curves look like locally. Here's Shay McAllister. We showed you Kentucky's curve and though it hasn't flattened out yet, it's moving in the right direction. Something state leaders say is due to social distancing. But when you look at Indiana's curve, you'll see it only continues to climb. Our neighbors and our economy need to see that we're taking steps that will help flatten the curve. Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb declared a public health disaster on March 6 when the first positive COVID-19 case was reported in Indiana the same day as Kentucky. One week later on March 13th, the governor announced new restrictions on social gatherings when the caseloads were increasing by an average of three per day. That was on par with Kentucky. But five days later, March 18th, we start to see a difference from Kentucky's curve, with Indiana averaging 12 new cases a day and activating the National Guard to assist. Five days after that, the largest increase yet, when the state reported 256 cases on March 23rd and then 365 one day later. That's 109 new cases over a 24-hour period, compared to only 39 new cases in Kentucky over the same 24 hours. In response, the Indiana governor initiated an official stay-at-home order for the state of Indiana. But in the days that followed, the numbers only continued to grow, meaning the state isn't yet seeing any flattening of the curve. If states can flatten the curve, it means they've slowed the spread of COVID-19, keeping the caseload below the healthcare system's capacity. If they don't, they risk reaching a point where the critically ill outnumber the services needed to save them. For Focus, I'm Shay McAllister.